Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins. Code Primate and Copa Law is now out. It's it's coming out after us. All us YouTubers who are kid orientated. Um, real quick, I am not a kid focused channel. Okay, my content it does fall into YouTube's category, and I, I just found this out. Um, so I'm going to make a profound statement, and hopefully you guys understand why. Because this is ridiculous. So, um, real quick, before I get too far into it, let's just uh, let's go react to this video. Important updates to all cre uh, creators complying with COPA. The first section of this video is basically, here's what the COPA is, and oh, we're YouTube, and we had our... Uh, hand slapped because we made a boo-boo and was collecting information on children under the age of 13. Here's how to fix your content on your channel. It's not the, that's not the problem. Okay. The problem is you are collecting data on children. That's a violation of COPA law, your lawsuit, not us. We didn't do this. You did. Second of all, um, I am really, really mad at everything that's going on here because um, here, l l you know, I will show you. So let's dive into some questions you may have. You, let's do it. What's let's... considered made for kids content? Here we go. Per the FTC's guidance under COPPA, when okay. deciding whether or not your channel or video is made for kids, you should think about factors like the subject matter of your video. Okay, subject matter of my videos is Lumber Tycoon 2 tutorials um, and basically life lessons and my own inner thoughts on what life should be about. Whether yeah. children are your intended audience for the video. No. Okay, first off, yes, it is kid friendly, it is family oriented, it is not directed at children. Okay, I originally made this content, I originally made this channel for my kids. With that being said, I found out that I'm not just talking to kids. I'm talking to parents. I am talking to grandparents. I am talking to adults. I am talking to coworkers, and that is my intended audience. It is family friendly, not kid oriented. Let's go. Whether the video includes child actors or models. During some of my collaborations, there are kids involved, and when I do have children involved. I have permission of the parents before they're they're filmed or done like that's that's it you have to have like some kind of permission from the parents the last thing i want is some parent who gets mad because their child was in one of my videos and then all of a sudden they realize oh wait code primate makes money off of his videos yes i monetize on my channel that's how i, I make money on this channel that's not the purpose of the channel but you know what? It does. It helps. It helps keep me motivated to keep making more content. Just as amazing as this one. Whether the video includes characters, celebrities, or toys that appeal to children. Hmm. Roblox. Hmm. Hmm. It does. But it's not exactly family friendly. Because you could consider Fortnite. But it's got guns. Roblox has got guns. It also has knives, and it shows you murdering people. That isn't con content for kids. That is not kid-oriented. Murder Mystery 2. The name murder is in the name. Keep going. Including animated characters or cartoon figures. Whether the language of the video is intended for children to understand. No. The I do not expect a five-year-old to understand what ADHD is, but I do want you to know that you're, like, you're not alone if you do have ADHD, attention deficit hyper disorder, something that I am very strong about because I have attention deficit hyper disorder. By the way, if you're a parent watching this right now and you're, one of your kids is acting extremely out of place, just have them tested, okay? Don't freak out about labels or stuff that's going to happen because I'm going to tell you right now, the difference between a, a child that is normal and has just a lot of energy is very similar to a child that has ADHD but can't focus okay there's there's not much difference whenever you're children but if you take them to a specialist they can get diagnosed and you can find out if your child has actual ADHD or not amazing there was a bunch of people who were misdiagnosed back whenever uh, I was a kid because the, they didn't understand what ADHD is 
there's a huge understanding of what ADHD actually is nowadays. It is not ADD. ADD is attention deficit disorder. ADHD is attention deficit hyper disorder. This also includes impulsivity. This also includes sensory disorders. This also includes uh, spectrums of autism. Yes, it's on the spectrum. Some people's disabilities aren't shown on the outside. Let's keep going. Whether the video includes activities that appeal to children. Hmm. Yep. Sure does. Look at that. It's a game for kids. But guess what? It's not for kids. Because you can put your age to 99 if you want. You can be really old and get into this game. <sighs> Next. Such as play acting, simple songs or games, or early education. <clears throat> Whether the video includes songs, stories, or poems that appeal to children. And any other information you may have to help determine your video's audience. Ultimately, we can't provide legal advice. Roses are red, violets are blue. My content is not for kids, but it's definitely for you. So we're unable to confirm whether or not your content is made for kids. That decision is up to you taking into consideration these factors. Okay, so it's up to you to fix our mistake. It's up to the content creators to tell us if you're, you're kid uh, oriented or if you're, you're kid targeted. Sorry, we were collecting the data, but could you make up for it? But we want to help you follow the law as much as we can. You do? Why didn't you follow the law in the first place? Check out our help center and talk to a lawyer if you're still unsure whether or not your content should be marked as made for kids. Now, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take a second to say, I do apologize that this is not my normal, nice, commenty, loving uh, content that it normally is. But on a scale of one to 10, I'm 11 mad on this one. Again, anger is only in the eye of the beholder. It is only a secondary emotion. If you're angry about something, it is not because you're actually angry. I am upset. I am disappointed. And I am hurt by what YouTube has done and by what YouTube is now labeling. By all means, YouTube, you messed up. You did this, not us. And now you're turning it around so we have to comply with your new policies. We should have a completely new platform. I'm just, I'm gonna say it right now. And YouTube, if you're watching or if you're listening, I don't care what you think about me, okay? Just like I know you don't care if my channel bombs. You don't care how much money I make because you're gonna be profiting off the ads anyway. You, I think that this is going to be the end of YouTube. This is going to set YouTube down so far that nobody's gonna to wanna to watch content or make content for it. If you are an aspiring YouTuber, and if you are looking up to me as your voice or your inspiration to go and do it, I encourage you, do it, go. But I'm going to warn you, it is the biggest minefield that you will ever find. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, a minefield is where soldiers go out and they plant these explosive devices in, in camouflaged areas, okay? This is definitely not family friendly, but a minefield will explode as somebody tries to make their way across this field, killing them. Okay, there we go, there. Uh, I just proved that my content is family oriented, not targeted at kids, because there's no way that would get on Sesame Street. <clears throat> at the same time, I deal with emotions. I deal with subject matters just like this. Like, this is very scary. It's scary for a lot of Roblox YouTubers because all of our content is like, it is, it looks like kids. It looks like it's for kids. Mine in particular, yes, it has kids who watch it. But most of you, and I'm just, I'm just gonna throw this out this, the majority of my audience is above the age of 13, I understand that. My kids are the ages of nine and 12. My daughter's about to become 13. When she does, I might throw a curse word in here. I probably won't. In fact, that would be a, a horrible thing to do. 
But yeah, that's the point that I'm at. I'm thinking about starting every single one of my videos with just the loud boom word. Like, just drop it. The bomb. The one. You know which one I'm talking about. I'm thinking about doing that on the first part of the video. Right after the intro, drop the bomb, do the rest of the content. Just so I can, you know, comply with them. Because I want to make sure that, you know, all the kids under the age of 13 aren't watching my channel. If it's going to get demonetized or taken away from content, you cannot leave a comment. <clears throat> Let's keep going. How old is a kid? The age of a kid in the U.S. is defined as anyone under 13. But they As of a certain law. Because back in the 1950s, it was completely different. Of course, back in the 1950s, we had a lot of other laws that were you know, highly illegal and non-PC today. Oh, by the way, PC means politically correct. The age of a child may be higher in other countries. So you'll need to consider the factors we just went through that apply to COPPA, in addition to any Coppa? applicable local laws I thought regarding it was children. Note that regardless of where you're based, COPPA generally applies. Be Don't sure shoot me, Coppa. Consult a lawyer if you have questions. Consult a lawyer always. If you set your content as made for kids, what does this mean for your channel? We will start limiting the data we collect on made for kids content to comply with the law. Did you hear that? Hold on. Just in case you missed it. We will start limiting the data we collect on made for kids content to comply with the law. Channel. We will start limiting the data we collect on made for kids content to comply with the law. <sighs> that is a problem. This is a huge problem. Because of this, videos that you mark as made for kids will be treated differently on YouTube. Discriminated Some features against. like comments will no longer be available. Most importantly, those videos won't show personalized ads. Demonetized. So some creators may see a decrease in revenue. What other features will no longer be available if I set my content as made for kids? Starting in January, if you mark a specific video as made for kids, features like comments, personalized advertising, info cards, end screens, and more won't be available on individual videos. If your entire channel is set as made for kids, your videos won't have any of those features. Your channel also won't have stories, the community tab, the notification bell, and your viewers won't be able to save to watch later or save to playlist. What in the world? Why in the world would I ever make kid content on YouTube? Why would I even try? This is a problem. It is huge, huge problem. Everything that is appealing to a content creator about your YouTube channel, about this, has now just been ripped out from underneath your feet. So if you were expecting to start in and have a kid's video channel, by the way, I'm going to have to break this news to my daughter, which is really going to tick me off. She is under, like, she's going to be the age of 13, which, wait, that would actually, okay, if she were currently making it right now, she would be considered an under the underage actor. She is of the age of 13, so she does not comply with COPA law, COPA law, <clears throat> COPA, it's COPA. I guess it would be COPA, but it's a double P, so it's a long COPA. <laughs> I don't know. How do you say it? Copa or Kappa? Put a comment down below. Let me know. Um, my daughter is going to be starting a channel, and I'm going to make sure that she doesn't fall into this category. Because I, I want her to be able to monetize. That is... That's upsetting, isn't it? Ugh. Keep in mind that... By the way, yeah, totally, this is... We are playing Roblox, and I am going to get to it, but this... This made me so mad when I saw it. Thank you, Miss Samantha, for sending it to me. <laughs> Hearts. <laughs> Restrictions are to follow the law. For a full list of restricted features, visit our help center. No. What happens if YouTube systems say my video is made for kids, but I disagree? Can I appeal? If you've not yet set your audience for your video, and YouTube has set it you for you You better believe to every single one of mine is going to be set for not ready for kids. You can choose the option that you believe kids. is correct for this video. If you've already set your audience for your video. And I'm just going to I'm going to put this disclaimer out there. I know that I'm family friendly right now and I know that you guys you love it that I I don't curse, I don't cuss and everything else. But if for some reason, I'm going to tell you this right now, if my channel or if my videos start getting tagged by this stupid kids appeal thing, 
I am absolutely going to curse in my videos. I'm going to drop a, a bomb at the very beginning and then carry on. Okay, so big warning to family friendly uh, people out there. Huge warning to um, kids. And sorry, grandma, if you're watching, I'm going to drop the F-bomb just so I can comply with their law. So don't take offense to it if I do. I really hope this doesn't affect the audience that I'm appealing to. And I really hope that you understand my reasoning behind it. Because this is war. This is war. And we Especially detect error. Minecraft YouTubers, Roblox YouTubers, kid content YouTubers. Or, or abuse. You still have the option to use the send feedback button if you disagree. You I can do find disagree. this in your video's details tab in YouTube Studio. What happens if I mark my video's audience incorrectly? If you don't set your content appropriately, this may result in compliance issues for you under COPPA and other laws. And if we find that you're abusing our systems and intentionally marking your videos incorrectly. Uh, oh, wait, intentionally marking them incorrectly. Wait, <laughs> you just said at the beginning of the video that you're not gonna rely on this system to, you know, mark the content for us. We're gonna rely on you, the content creator, to mark the content for us. But if we find out you're lying. This may result in consequences for your channel or videos. Ban me. We know this won't delete, be easy. Delete delete my channel, creators, YouTube. And that this required change is going to take some getting used to. But these are important steps to ensure compliance with the law. We're committed to helping you prepare for this transition. So if you'd like to learn more about this new setting, be sure to check out our help center. Thank you for watching. No, thank you. Thank you for making my life so much easier as a content creator on your platform. The whole reason that I came to your channel in the first place was because of your appeal of following Copa Law. With that being said, let's get into some Roblox. I am now thoroughly mad. <sighs> and it's understandable. Deep breath. <sighs> and let's calm down for a second. Let's get back and focus into Roblox and what I'm doing. Because I'm, I'm going to tell you straight up. If for any reason my channel or my videos start getting tagged, automatically kid content, I'm going to fight back and I'm going to come back with a vengeance because that right there just shows me one more thing that they have not been listening to. YouTube doesn't care. Ah, I hate to diss YouTube because YouTube is so amazing. When it was under Google, What happened? Wasn't the, their slogan, don't be evil? I mean, it's it's such a good slogan. I use it in my Discord. It's like the first thing that I've got in there. And it's a commandment. Or it was a commandment. And then I felt bad about calling it a commandment. And I switched it to codifications. Or notifications. Codifications. Codifying something. And it is. The first one is don't be evil. Be nice. And yeah, that's, that's simple. That is a simple rule to live by in life, in school, in your family. Be nice. <laughs> by the way, YouTube, I do apologize to you. I am so sorry that you got sued for, you know, stealing the information of underage kids. Sounds so out of context. Hmm. He's up there with his axe out. <laughs> Dirty. Um, yeah. I'm going off on a video right now. Copa Law has got me hot. <clears throat> Super hot. Oh, that's a game, by the way. Whitelist. <laughs> okay, G D Dallas. That was completely whitelist, you buddy. There you go. There you go. Good job. Jerk. <laughs> oh, gosh. Mm. 
but did you see the thing about gameplay videos? Um, don't care. The video I just watched told me everything I need to know. They are going to force content creators into boxes and label them. But we can fight back. I'm just, I feel really sorry for anybody who's like absolutely kid content out there because this is, this is going to destroy your channel. Uh, I hate to say it, your channel is getting destroyed because <sighs> We're not talking about it anymore. We're not talking about it anymore. We are going to move on. I need ladders. Let's go. Ladder time. Boop. So many ladders are going to call me the Church of Latter-day Saints. <coughs> Sorry. Wait, that's an actual church. <laughs> Latter-day. My bad. <laughs> it's the day that you celebrate all the ladders. Latter-day. <coughs> kind of like Arbor Day. Where you celebrate tea, trees. Is mine? Okay. Woo! <laughs> for a second, I thought my sound was still muted. I'm like, dude, it just looks like I'm yelling for no reason. Screen chat, please. Hi, Zach. What's up, buddy? You're going to really freak out tomorrow when you figure out that I'm recording you. <laughs> Why is this not? There we go. There we go. Come on. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oop, there we go. Hehe, <laughs> jeez. Print screen, done. Got it. Boop, boop, boop. Wonder how many subscribers I lost this time. <sighs> I don't think you guys have ever seen me actually get mad like that before. I mean, I get emotional at times. Um, I got mad whenever the demonetization started. And that was last year. That was no adult content on YouTube. <laughs> now they're like, no kid content on YouTube. <laughs> Next year, no content on YouTube. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm talking about it again. See, and that's how one-tracked mind I am. I'm just so upset right now about the things that are going on inside the YouTube world. And I think it, it really is because I'm hurt. You know, this channel, this service, this place, I've met so many people inside Roblox. I've met so many good, good content creators who probably won't make the leap to curse in their videos like I will. But... I guess I could just talk about very controversial things that uh, I feel strongly about that you wouldn't talk to a 13-year-old about, you know? And you know what? My content has... It's teetered on the edge of multiple issues that are not kid-friendly, you know? It's not kid content-driven stuff like that. From the outside, okay? Don't get me wrong. From the outside, if you don't look at the videos and you strictly go off of um, thumbnails and descriptions, 100% that is content made for kids. It's not until you get into one of my videos that you find out that I'm a raving lunatic who talks about random things and gives you my insight into life. And I think that's the appeal. A lot of people look at the thumbnails and I'm like, oh great, this old man doing Roblox, what the poop is this? And then you get in here and you're like, oh wait, what is he talking about? And then all of a sudden, dude, he's talking about like the loss of his mother. And I lost my mom last uh, year, you know? By the way, that is a horrible thing to do, to lose a parent. And I couldn't imagine the opposite. Somebody asked me one time, what's your biggest fear, Code? Having one of my children die before me. That is the most scariest thing that I can think of. Um, I don't fear death. 
I don't fear life in general. Human nature itself. Humans are not evil. I mean, we're selfish. Absolutely, we're selfish. And we are self deprecating. Hold on. Why is that not? Get up there. But we are not inherently evil. No human being is inherently evil. Hello, ma'am. So. I hope I've not gone too far. Because yesterday was very, very controversial talking about sexual identification. Like how you sexually identify, whether you're male or female. And that in itself I thought was very controversial um, until I started reading your guys's comments today and a lot of you were in agreement, like about YouTube and about uh, everything and then with Gerald's channel and the hack and the non-responsiveness from YouTube support team that was just another kick to the teeth so yeah my my content, family friendly, not kid content. I mean, you can be under the age of 13 and still be safe here, but uh, you're not my intended audience. So if you're under the age of 13, can I get a hashtag in the, in the comments down below? Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't you dare do that. Especially if you're on like your mom or dad's account. Mom and dads, if you are giving your kids your phone or your tablet to play with, and you have a YouTube account, guess what? You are technically violating COPA law. <laughs> what? Yeah, how many uh, how many parents could go to jail? Hey, put a put a comment down below if you're a parent that could go to jail for, by violating COPA law. Sorry, don't do that. I <laughs> I've looked at my analytics, and my analytics state that my huge demograph is between the ages of 18 and 25. <laughs> I, know, I know my content's not being watched by 18 and 25 year olds, like between those ages. That is not my majority audience. I know that that's, that is parents who have phones, who have handed their phones to their kids, and those kids are watching Roblox. I know that those are parents like me who have set up accounts for their kids, but put in different ages, so it's not restricted. Because that's one thing I highly believe in. Like the, the flow of information, the flow of technology, huge. I am a huge believer in, in freedom of information. <sighs> when they, the, the net neutrality thing, when that started, ugh. Was I, was I mad about that one? I can't even remember. I was I was mad, boy. Mad. Anyhow, how far along are we? We're at 20, 28 minutes. Um, I'm still I'm still just. Uh. Let's have a nice easy build for the rest of the time for the, the remaining two minutes that I'm I'm sitting here ranting. <laughs> Uh, like, I, like I said, I do apologize for any inconveniences that this is going to put out for any of my fans or any newcomers. If you're new to my videos and this is your first one, I promise they're not all like this. They may be like this in the future, but for the most part, it's always been family friendly, family oriented. Um, even on the videos where I've got curse words on the screen and... There's uh, marijuana on the screen, okay? Whenever I used to do hypnosis, just so you know, I was in an open video chat room with multiple people, okay? I don't control what they did on video, but I do control what goes into my videos. And I've marked those as, uh, as uh, like 18 and over content. By the way, the majority of people telling me about the hypnosis videos were kids who watched it from their parents' phones and had access. 
<sighs> I didn't do anything wrong. I've got it marked as content for adults. And those parents are the ones violating the Copa Law. Better yet, YouTube is still violating the Copa Law because they are not determining that that child is watching their parent's phone. In the end, YouTube can pretty much do whatever they want. They can they can tell us to do whatever we want. They can kill the entire content. They could kill the channel. They could kill my channel. And I would just be a dust in the wind. I am not even not even a fraction of a drop in the bucket. Not even a fraction of a drop in the ocean in comparison. So what is my channel doing? Why is this little YouTuber complaining so hardcore about the rights of YouTube? Well, because I fully believe in it. And that's what hurts so bad. That's what makes it sting. That is that is like a slap to the face. <sighs> Especially because I've seen a bunch of kids' content who have created um, stop motion, who have created little skits and plays with their animals, who have done the Tamagotchi. It's not Tamagotchi. It's the, the little animations. Um... They, they look like little Japanese animations of, uh, of cartoons. You guys have seen them. They're all over the place. Anyhow, people have made some amazing animations with those, and guess what? All of those are going to be getting taken down. What video are you making? Copa Sucks by Code Primate. <laughs> it's not going to be that. I don't know. That could be a, that could be the good name. Of the that could be a really good name for this particular video. <laughs> oh man, it's time. And by the way, I made it to the water. I know I didn't. I didn't show on here too much of what's going on. But hold on, I'll finish out this door and go. You know what? We can do it now. Let's just do it. Come on. Let's go. Move B. Okay, now that that's moved. Should be able to lower that. I can't tell if the, oh, the final doors are not in place. So we're going to have to reload. Alright, come back up. Are you done planking? It's done planking. Let's go to menu, load, base four, reload, working. We gotta wait until it deloads. This is OP. Mm. For those of you that don't know what OP means, it is stands for Optimus Prime. I'm just kidding, it's overpowered. <laughs> Optimus Prime, code you so stupid you don't know? You don't know what OP means? I do. Oh gosh, my nose is getting all clogged, and I want to go play some Fortnite, because now I, I need to throw some rounds down range at people. Ugh. All right, I gotta hit cancel or quit, and I go to menu, false, close, close, menu, load. Come on, slot four, slot four, done, 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 done. Mad mom. Mad mommy, she is so mad, 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 mad. Zach and three and four and five six. Wait, what's what's his number? Zach three zero two three zero two. <clears throat> By the way, I do let my ADHD get carried away with me sometimes. Probably tonight was one of those moments. And normally I'm very... Oh, wait, shoot. Dang it. Did it do the thing? Oh, well. Okay. Here. So I don't lose my axe this time. Boop. There we go. Throw that right down there. Good. Ah, here we go. Turn like that. Boop. Ah, like I said, come what may. 
if for some reason I am forced to do something drastic, you better believe I'm going to do it to make sure that my content remains for all ages not kid friendly or not kid intended. Mm. You guys knew that, right? Real quick, let's just take a poll down in the comments. If you knew that I was family friendly and not kid oriented, like kid intended, put a comment down below and tell me, yes, I knew. Or say, uh, oh, let's stop, 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 erase that. How are we going to do this? If for some reason you thought I was kids only, type out kids only in the comments. If you thought I'm family friendly, type out family friendly in the comments. I will count them up and we will take a vote as to what this Copa law actually means for me because I don't believe it at all. Not that I don't believe it. I do believe it. Ooh. <laughs> there it is. Now, I don't want it to be right there. I actually want it to come down one more, right? Because can I... Hold up. Can I get back up that? Can I get back up that? Come on, come on, come on. No, 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 not going to happen. Ryan, code, Ryan. Step, step. Okay, so I want that to go down <laughs> a little bit more. Just so we can we can step up on it. That's that's harsh. That's hardcore, dude. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate, where I complain and I just go off on Coppola and the YouTube community in general. Uh, not the content creators by any means. I mean, I know you're struggling just like I am to try and get past all these or to, to get your the bot, the analog bot, or the not the analog, the the logarithm, that thing. Biggest joke in the world. Anyhow, <clears throat> love you guys very much. Have a great night, and I hope to talk to you soon. Hopefully it's not with any cuss words. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. I think I said that already, but I'm really frustrated. Flustered. Fl flustered? Flabbergasted? Ugh. <sighs> Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Outro.